continue to stay on top of breaking news. A massive IT outage hitting everyone from airports to businesses worldwide. Thank you for joining us for the news at 4 o'clock. I'm Nick Sturdivant. And I'm Megan Bragg. This all started earlier this morning when a cybersecurity company named CrowdStrike said its routine update had gone wrong. Now they want to make everyone aware that this was not a cyber attack. And it's just been a complete mess oh, all, around, all across the board all day. Yeah. Now that glitch bringing chaos to key institutions and businesses around the world. Now the good news is that many businesses are slowly coming back online, including city services and the DMV. Yeah, definitely, but a slow day and a headache for people who were traveling today, especially at the airport. We have our Jesse uh, live right now. Jesse, people are still, you know, having delays, cancellations. What are you seeing over there? Well, one thing I'll tell you is things are moving much smoother than this morning. Now, here are some of the ticket counters behind me. United has the longest line, and you can see that the blue screens of death, some are calling it, are still up there. So their screens haven't come back to life, but they have the longest line. But most of the other airlines are moving uh, moving much smoother. And then if you look at checkpoint one, it has about a 10 to 20 minute wait time. But overall, again, that has been moving pretty smoothly. Some people I spoke to tell me they have been trying to get home since yesterday from the flight cancellations, delays, to challenges, just renting a car. The outage has really been a, a nightmare for travelers. Disruptions to travelers continue at Charlotte Douglas following a global tech outage. Airlines at the airport have resumed operations, but airport officials say cancellations and delays are expected to continue throughout the day. You can also expect to see long lines and extended wait times. The disruptions continued for car rental services, where you can also see long lines. For some travelers, efforts to get a rental car have been unsuccessful. Some folks say they have been stranded for hours, sleeping at the airport and trying to find a way to get to their final destination. I was supposed to get home by 6 p.m. yesterday, and it's not looking like I'm going to get home until after that today. We're just kind of stuck here in limbo for right now, so it's just been a hard day. Well, we've had our flight canceled. We were heading to Fort Myers to uh, play baseball and flight got canceled. So we came over to the rental car to see if we can get a car to drive down, but don't look like there's any cars either. Travelers are asked to check in with their airlines directly for the status updates of their flights. If you do have a confirmed flight today, make sure to give yourself plenty of time to get to the airport and through security. So now it does feel like the airport is getting a little bit busier since folks are getting off work, so they probably have more travel plans coming in after. But again, the airline with the longest line, you can see it continuing to stretch, is United. Their screen's not fixed with that error message again. Now, there are some airlines who are giving out some waivers uh, for those who have been impacted. Their travel plans have been imp impacted, so you want to make sure to check on those. Now, again, if you do have a confirmed flight, make sure to check for those updates and give yourself plenty of time to make it through checkpoints and so forth. Live at Charlotte Douglas, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. All right, thank you, Jesse. A lot of frustrated flyers today for sure. And we know.